All right, a little quick rant. I like it started. So, um, I usually don't do this. So I'm gonna put a little juicy J while I do this little thing thing today for the feminine. Um, it's a couple rants I want to give. So. For newbie twins. I know this twin flame thing gets polished up, romanticized, sexualized. You know, the vibe. Like, I really gotta state the obvious here. Different people go through different situations. Like I say, all twins ain't got the same situation. So even shit that I'm kicking, my experiences, the advice and jewels and gems that I'm dropping to y'all. I mean, it don't have to come out the same way for me or work the same way for me as it did for y'all. But all I'm saying is I work my twin flame situation. I am a divine feminine, by the way. And like I said, it's been here seven years. First two years I spent really establishing myself with y'all. Hey, I'm a divine feminine man. Caught all kind of smoke from that shit. Oh, you just gay. Just go and tell the folks you, you that's what you is. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you is. That's, I ain't never heard of some shit like that. Like, okay, whatever. You know, so-called sisters. Y'all turned on a nigga, man. Like, I was bugging. Then I told y'all my twin flame demo. I was doing blogs before I started doing this shit. Like it was LLE boom blogs, and I was just dropping gems, kind of like what the majority of most of these motherfuckers is doing, all militant and shit. I had to get off that and find a lane, a niche, it's not to hide, even though I cope my shit to kind of stay hidden from certain systems. What I did was brave. I didn't even have to tell y'all my twin flame situation was the same sex demo. I didn't even have to tell y'all <laughs> half the shit I was telling y'all on the wine feminine. Even start talking about God and path and purpose and shit. Like really that's when my channel took a nose dot. Once I started talking about God, once I started like dropping gems. Like my channel at first was just like every other fucking psychic out here. I mean I was just starting. You know, had the cars with the nice little visuals and I was using the visuals and my shit. I actually used tarot cards a few times. Back in season one. You know what I mean? But like I said, I didn't have no definition in my cards. I didn't have a system set. I didn't have really a general understanding of this. Most psychics really don't know what the fuck they're doing. They have no general understanding because it ain't like they got their own rubric. It ain't like they got their own language. It ain't like they got their own slang with this shit. My personal opinion, anybody that watched tarot readings, your job is to watch us Learn how to do this shit so you don't need us anymore. Fuck is you watching cars for years, watching tarot videos for years, and you don't know tarot? Are you watching the motherfucking readers? Like, are you paying attention? If you literally just took notes on all the definitions that they're giving and shit, and you really watched them for like, I don't know, a year taking notes, you should know what every card means. Only 52, 54 cards in a deck. People who do tarot like me. That's the reason why I fuck with cards, because it's more intense. You fuck with tarot, then you go from 54 to like 82 cards and shit. Like I'm, I'm cool on that. I'm, I'm wrapping this up. I'm wrapping this up. Hey, learn how to do this shit. Learn how to read cards, so you can read yourself and read your demos. So you ain't gotta fuck with a site to read you and do that for you. This shit ain't that hard. If I can figure this shit out, come on. Man. Just a hood nigga from the south side of Chicago, G. <laughs> I picked this hobby up in the lobby. You hear me? It ain't that complex. A general understanding, a broad, uh, uh, to fuse with your soul, basically, to be an ascended master. You want to fuse with your thought adjuster. Your thought adjuster really is like your soul. We all got a soul, but very few of us fuse with our soul. Because the few souls are the persons that's going to ascend. When the world goes to shit, when you die, whatever. An ascended soul ascends to the next plane of existence. People who don't fuse with their souls, people who aren't ascended, people who ain't 
divine won't evolve. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's karma. Pretty sure you probably get sent back here to retry it again or maybe to another place to try again, like, and don't move up in levels. Like, this shit is all about levels. At the end of the day, you really need to know what this divinity shit really is, what the 450 dimension really is. Who the powers that be are. Your true power. Hell don't exist, I will argue. Ain't nothing wrong with LGBT, I will argue. Everybody ain't fucking divine, I will argue. Everybody ain't twins, I will argue. It's not shit I can argue about. But one thing that don't need to be said with this shit that I gotta say, because it's like y'all don't understand, is the rules of engagement as I get these cards out. Rule number one in the twin flame shit, it's optional. You don't have to fuck with this. Your twin flame doesn't have to fuck with this. You, it's optional. You're literally choosing to put yourself through everything that come with this. Your divine masculine, King of Wands, he kind of understands that more than you. He knows this shit is optional. So he chooses not, he, he opts out a lot. I mean, one on one, this shit is optional. Your divine masculine ain't got to fuck with you at all. I don't have to talk to you. We ain't got to reply. Don't have to do shit. He literally don't have to do nothing. So if he does reply, if he does talk, if y'all are in cahoots, if he is cool, if y'all are knocking booze, like whatever the fuck it is, it's icing on the cake. Because rule number two in the strong flame situation is built for you to make you the best person you can be. Your divine masculine is the spark. The the, 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 the very ignition that got you on this path, that got you on this spirituality shit, that got you to ascension, that got you to angel numbers, that got you to, you know what I'm saying, to flame shit, that got you to tarot, like all this shit, right? Yo, this, this, this is the person. That sparked your brain. Of course he did it subconsciously. You grew a lot from your divine masculine. I mean, I mess messing, taught you very, very, very good life lessons that only he could teach you. You can be sure you should be here, you know how we rocking. The shit your divine masculine does to you is shit you need to do to other people. That's what your masculine is teaching you, how to deal with other people. What does your masculine do? He set boundaries so you don't cross them, so you ain't getting too much in this space, or at least controlling the getting in this space situation. He loves you, but he's got to keep his distance. He wants to move forward, but he kind of has to take a step back, because like I said, he ain't the only one with flaws. Divine feminine, you got a lot of shit fucked up with you too. You ain't perfect. Your divine master is damaged and fucked up and got issues and complexes. So do you. Your divine masculine fucks up. You a player, right? Divine feminine, players fuck up. Players fuck up too. And the same way he ignited your mind, you ignited his. The same way your master has done shit for you, whether that's subconsciously or consciously, you've done shit for him. He can be she's you, you know, we rocking consciously or subconsciously. That's here for a reason. And that reason is to change you, to evolve you, turn you to a whole nother creature. And that's rule number two of this twin flame shit. Rule number one, it's optional. Rule number two is for you to be the best version of yourself you can be. And then make your master the best version of himself that he can be. How you know you had a success, successful twin flame shit? Your master just came along, ignited you, put you on a whole different path in life. Made you evolve in ways you never evolved. You fucked around and got powers and gifts. I really identify who the fuck you are by looking at yourself in a whole different person. Twin mirrors. Twin flame is a mirror. You wave your right hand at the mirror. It's going to be a left hand waving back at you. It's a ring on my right finger. If I wave at myself in the motherfucking mirror, it's going to be a merry version of me waving back. Mirrors are portals too. Mirrors are portals too. Look how a mirror gets made. Like a silver nitrate mixed with something. Some type of liquid. L look how glass is made. Soon they put that silver nitrate in that, that liquid, that shit get to moving like a portal, cuz. Like, I was watching that shit the other day. Oh, yo, that's some sorcery. That's sorcery. Imagine that. First time America got made. The motherfucker that figured that out, or the demon that, you know, or the djinn that, you know what I mean, or, or the helper, or the angel, or fallen angel that told him how to make that shit. <laughs> so many alchemists the shit back then, because they was doing shit that, you know, the average person ain't even thinking of. You know, think of the mirror. 
first time a person get to look at they self and see they self from a whole another way. Imagine that. That's what a twin flame is too. It's you literally seeing a mirror for the first time. You see the video, they put the big ass mirror in the jungle and shit. You feel me? It's like the the motherfucking silverback gorilla walks through and sees a reflection of itself and he <laughs> This nigga gets bucked like he knocked. He trying to no fucking knock the hair off his reflection. You don't know what the like. What the fuck? Did he get the touch of this shit? Like, what the fuck? This is it. Like, you see the monkeys and the cheetahs and the rhinos and the elephants get to looking at things because it's like it's that's consciousness to see yourself. These animals went this whole time without really seeing what they look like, only to see what they look like. I'm pretty sure that mirror changed the lives of all the animals that was around it. Now they're more self-conscious on what they are, on who they are. They probably didn't know who they was, so they seen who they were, and it's like, oh, I look like this. Oh, okay. So maybe I could spot it like, it's weird. It's weird to explain, but that's, that's kind of what it's like. You meet your twin flame, you meet your mirror. And it's like, you But you start noticing differences because you are the divine feminine, he's the divine masculine. Y'all different. Once again, ring on my right hand. In a mirror, it's a Mary D. Boom. Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Little differences you'll see in the mirror. I could have sworn I had a message out. <laughs> Over here, rain. Listen, wait a minute. That's all you need to really know this don't find shit. Rule number one and rule number two. This shit is optional and it's built for you to be the best person you can be and help your mass and do the same thing. Anything else is a blessing. First card in this message, we got the fool card. Fool card is just being in a whole new world like Aladdin. A whole new world. Just a place you've never been in before. That got you uncomfortable. Whether it's a new demo, an intro to a flame, you kind of moved on for your twin flame. This is those who moved on for their twin flame demo, you know, like myself and others. Uh, just in place you've never been in one. I think about me and my twin flame demo. My twin flame demo has been a very integral part of my life for the past seven years. So, like, I've been, you know, this twin flame journey in general has been 11 going on 12 years. Just seven years of me being online on this shit with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely in a whole new world like that. It's just a place I've never been before. It's just a world without my twin. Without the twin, the past 11 years, whether separated or not, beefing or not, speaking or not, whether I see him or not, he's been in my life. You know what I'm saying? For 11 straight years, he's been like, not my whole life, because I told you, this twin flame shit is only 20% of your life. But life is the 80%, that's your cake. 20% is the icing on your cake. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I'm really a brownie now. <laughs> so I used to be in a cake, having the frosting and shit, but now I'm a brownie. And what's a brownie? It's a cake with no fucking frosting. You don't need no fucking frosting on a brownie. The brownie is as good as, as it is. Fuck you mean? You got cakes with no icings, nigga. They call brownies, nigga. They call cookies, nigga. <laughs> You don't need icing for certain shit. You understand? I'm saying a donut that's glazed, just a little bit of not even icing. Icing on a donut would probably be like 05 percent. Twenty percent is icing on a cake. Glaze on a donut would be like one percent. You got one percent glaze. I mean, one percent icing. Okay, put that on glaze on a donut, nigga, and you got a whole cake. So you can make probably about a dozen or a baker's dozen with the fucking cake you got. This is a new place you ain't never been before, as I am. Most a lot of people for the feminists who moving away from their masculines. It's temporary because you never permanently. It's it's not permanent. It's not the end. It's just a break, like a timeout in a basketball game. The wife is moving away from their masculines, taking a break and shit. This is a new place you ain't been before, but it's a good position because ain't nowhere to go but here. Now you're in a new situation. You can literally get all your time, energy, and resources into, it. and planning and hopes and plans that it works out. 
for those who work their twin flame shit. Good shit. Like salute to the people who use their twin flame shit to change them, to, to transform themselves, to find their powers, to unlock them, their powers, to get closer to God. I'm saying that's what the shit is for. Shout out to the twins who's done that and being with their twin in the way that they want to be with their twin. You got twins out here living a life of bliss. Not everybody, but you got some out here doing their thing thing. Man. These motherfuckers are like really top tier twins, you feel me? Who really out here getting this bread, saving the world. Not saving the world, because the world don't be saving. Healing the world, doing good, superb spiritual shit for the community, for themselves. Like, you know, big shit. But all of us like one, two percenters, because I'm one, two percent of the world financially free to really do what the fuck they need to do, especially in a time like what's finna happen. I ain't gonna talk about that, but shit finna get real, real quick, but I think y'all know that. Um, it's a new place you ain't never been before, but you'll be fine. You're always okay. You don't wanna go without. It's like moving to a new fucking city. You're good. It's gonna get some new, a new place to eat, a new place to shop. New place to get your hair and nails done and shit. You know, you don't really need new friends because, I mean, you on business right now. It ain't really time to be social. It's time to really be on your tool of wands, your survival mode, whatever the fuck you're doing to make ends meet. Move to a new city, obviously for a reason. I'm pretty sure a job has a lot to do with this move, and you need to secure that. You focus on your home, where you're going to stay at, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to tool of wands, make ends meet, meet. That's what's important right now. Not another fucking relationship. Not friends. Social shit and relationships, that shit need to be on the bottom of your list right now. Top of your list, career. At least right now, because you got to make ends meet. I told you, two, two of wands. You know what I mean? Once you get that together, then you can get to your three of wands. Two of wands before three of wands. Three of wands is your path, your purpose. Whatever God got you out here doing, that's your LLC, that's your business, that's your ministry that's whatever it is okay that's cool in the game but when you move to another city i'm telling you you live in a different economy nigga this shit is going up ain't nothing going down and it's gonna get worse so if you're moving you know to another city starting over recharge reinventing yourself whatever reread you doing at a whole different location okay first thing on your list you need to focus on supply your job secure that bitch make sure you good in there so you ain't got no issues with that two a uh, second Whatever fucking four walls you call in your home, your home or your shelter. You need shelter, but you need a job. <laughs> Chain of command, you gotta have a job. Without a job, you can't keep no house over your head, but you need a car to keep your job. What the fuck you work twenty miles away or you work down the street, man. Car is fucking mandatory. That's it's just how shit go. At least now. It's a trinity, it's a trinity. All evolution is in threes. In order for you to maintain your two of wands, in order for you to survive, you need a job, you need a car, you need a career. Even if you ain't got a car, you can't work a place 24. Like, for, unless you live in Chicago, we got the best transit system on, on the fucking planet, in my personal opinion. Like, get anywhere and everywhere in Chicago, for sure, and quick, and quick. So, I mean, unless you live in a place like Chicago or New York or some shit like that, like an urban city, you feel what I'm saying? It's necessary for you to have wheels. But wheels is also independence. Car ain't just what gets you to and from work. It's, it takes you out the city. It takes you to whatever the fuck your place of peace is. Like a car is, is, is freedom. That's why you got people living in cars, nigga, because they got a job and they got a car. And I'm telling you, that's, that's <laughs> can't have a career without a car or a job. It, it, it all has to fit together. It's basically what the fuck I'm saying. It's a trinity. It's job car career or job career car either way you gotta have them all at the same time because if you ain't got a way to get to work you can't work you can't work you can't live you can go to work and have a way to work that at least kills two birds with one stone if you ain't got nowhere to stay at least you can stay in your car this is all the examples just using as an analogy to kind of paint a picture here you gotta have a job Whatever that job is. Once you secure that shit, okay, then get on your three ones. Then get on your path and purpose. Then get on your ministry. Get you right first. Then get to getting people right. Bottom line, more important than anything, we got the king of wands, the divine master. And this shit gonna go very fast. 
without the Divine Madison, a lot of this shit ain't, wouldn't be possible. Let's make sure the Divine Madison the king, and you're the queen. He got one up on you. And what is that? If it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be no kingdom. There wouldn't be no new you. There wouldn't be none of this shit. I mean, you've been woke. You've been evolved. You've been smart. You've been powerful and all that shit. But it wasn't until... That's why everybody ain't twins. We only talking to the twin flames here. That's why we know the Divine Madison came in your life. He, he or she ain't do nothing but accelerate your life, elevate your life, evolve your life, ascend your path. He was already on the path, but until you met your twin, or you start going up, or you start going the right way, or you start doing the right shit, or you start looking at shit the right way, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole ignition process that happens with your divine masculine, and that's what you got to keep in mind and never forget, because coming to the situation feminine, we got the king of pentacles. Which can be a karmic masculine or just the CEO card. Masculine, last card in his message was uh, the Queen of Pentacles, a karmic feminine, or just bossing up on some shit. Feminine coming to this thing, energy you coming into or leaving is a karmic masculine or the CEO card. So, I pick another card. This is a karmic masculine. <laughs> You got to keep in mind that, yes, you are a divine feminine, which is the card that came out. And you do have a whole divine masculine, a whole divine counterpart. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for the divine feminines, it's fucking with karmics. Like I said, it's good karmics out here. If you're going to fuck with a karmic, fuck with a good karmic. What's a good karmic? That's just a person that got what you need, because that's what makes a karmic masculine. He has something that you can fuck with or that you fucking with. Whether you need it, whether you want it, whether it's helping you out or not, like, whatever. So, it's something. Because if you didn't have this, you really wouldn't fuck with keeping it real. Because why fuck with a karmic when you can fuck with a divine? Even if it ain't your divine masculine, you can fuck with a divine masculine. Which is really my best advice. If you want to date somebody, if you want to fuck with somebody, fuck with another divine. Yes, there's somebody else's divine counterpart, and that's the case okay, for karma. You're going to go through fucking with a divine masculine. They got a whole divine feminine. <laughs> Which is cool, because like I said, divine feminine is mature. Divine feminine ain't finna get on no karmic feminine shit. You dig? So, divine feminine. If you choose to fuck with a karmic feminine, then you, I mean, a karmic masculine, then that makes you a karmic feminine. It's like the divine feminines who marry, marry their karmic. This is their name. You have their name. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have a whole divine ass and all that there, but this is your husband. This is, you's got, you have a thing. You two have an actual union with God. That's what marriage is. It's a union with God. You and the divine masculine has a union with God. But, you know, when you marry a karmic masculine, you have a union with your karmic masculine, too, until you get divorced. And then you don't have a God in your union anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what marriage really is. Is you dating a person and then you're just like, hey, God, come here. I want you to bless us. Bless what we have. And in your name, we're going to, for rich or for poor, you know what I'm saying? Like, the sickness and the health, we're going to make this shit work. That's why we brought you in here to kind of help ensure this works. That's a healthy marriage. You know, this is 60 plus percent marriage in a divorce now. And, you know, it's a lot of cheating. And open relationships and sharing and shit going on out here. You know, motherfuckers ain't got no respect for God. And not every marriage. It's savage. Like, not every Twin Flame demo is the one I'm kind of using examples for to help explain and shit, but it's like, it's a union. You choose a Mary Carmen, and like I said, you brought God in your shit. That's, that's your kingdom now, and that's what you need to put focus on. You can't focus on your divine masculine. You need to focus on your king. The king you got at the crib. That's very disrespectful to, I don't know, respect, admire, and you know what I mean? Get influenced by an outsider of your union now. Cause like I say, if you was dating this karmic masculine, it'd be different. 
you really wouldn't be impeding or intruding on the union you got with your masculine. And you can just... But no, when you get married, there is no... He overrides your karmic mask. I mean, your divine mask. By law. Now. You're in a karmic situation. Just acknowledge you're in a karmic situation. Yes, I'm a karmic feminine because I have my karmic mask on last name. Yes, I'm a karmic feminine because whatever it, this thing is that I'm fucking with him for is the glue that's keeping us shit, our shit together. If he didn't have this, I probably wouldn't be with him. You know what I'm saying? But it works out. What this thing he got or the thing he got going on or his whatever this demo is, it seems to be helping you. It seems to be evolving you. It seems to be doing good for you. It seems to be kind of a great move. You know? Yes, you got your whole twin here. Yes, it's energy and clicking and all that shit, but you got to focus on what matters. And that's your K for kingdom. Now, you want to do it the right way? Okay, divorce this karmic and then do all that shit you're trying to do with your, with your, with your, with your divine master. But you can't be married to your karmic master and fucking with your twin. Because like I said, a fucker with anyone. Because anybody you fuck with or deal with or cheat with outside the union you got with God, it's big karma to that shit. It's going to be karma on your line masculine, knowing you married, knowing you in a demo and choosing to fuck with you. It's going to be karma on you fucking with your masculine, knowing you in a demo but choosing to do it. It's going to be karma for you hurting your karmic masculine. Even if he's cheating on you, you cheating on him. That don't make it no better. Two bones don't make a fucking right. Why don't you just leave this person alone? Okay, the need that you have for this karmic masculine is the only thing that's keeping you in this masculine's life. That's fucked up. Why? Because you're the queen of actions and behavior. Thus, you can manifest pinnacle anything you seek. You don't need this pinnacle. This pinnacle, whatever pinnacle this karmic masculine has, you can get it yourself. It's best to, like I say, be able to help until you can help yourself and then move on. It's a karmic situation. The same way they got you, they're going to get another person. The same thing they was providing to you, they can provide to another motherfucking person. They're the king of pinnacle. Whether you with them or not, they're going to be straight. They don't need you. Seems like you need them. They can operate without you. Seems like you can't operate without them. You know what I mean? That's a karmic demo. And it's a lot of you divine feminines, so-called divine feminines, and these karmic demos. Still trying to get with your karmic masculine, trying to keep it not my stance from some flame shit when you clearly got doors you need to close so you can walk into the doors that need to open. You need to end shit, begin shit. Two things can't occupy the same space. I'm telling you, if you choose to fuck with your divine masculine and fuck with your karmic masculine at the same damn time, like future, that's double the karma. CK, karma, K, karma. Not only is it divine karma you finna get from God, it's worldly karma you get finna finna get. And which is whatever's coming from doing whatever you did to him. Even if he's doing the same shit. And then you got another, it's actually three karma. Then you got the other karma from you choosing to make God a part of this union you got here. So God got something for you for fucking your union up. That's one. God got something for you for fucking with his shit. Even if he fucking with your shit. Boom, that's karma. And then... Choosing deliberately to go over here and fuck with your masculine is karma on you for doing that with him, but it's also karma on him for doing that with you. Karma. What you do comes back. Whatever you want is on on you. Feel me? Because what you don't see, divine feminine, is all that outside conflict I just talked about. It's hella karma out here. And a lot of y'all walking around here like y'all ain't got karma coming. Like the conversation I had with my mom. About the rapture. <laughs> She's like, son, you better get your shit together. You better get right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, rapture happening. And uh, I'm going to thank God that I did the stuff that I did. Because when I do leave here, because God definitely going to take, when I do get out of here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a house, you're going to have all this property and shit. So you're going to be straight. I say, my, if the rapture happened, nigga, the government taking all your shit. I ain't going to get that. That's not how it's going to work, my. <laughs> And I'm like, with the rapture shit, I'm like, you know, once again, I'm a Christian by default. That's 
it's just my foundation that I will never, ever, 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 ever go against because it seems like every time I go against my foundation, God be laying a smack down on my candy ass, like really fucking my shit up because I know better to not do that. If I was born and raised in Islam, I'd be Islam. If I was born and raised a Muslim, I'd be Muslim. If I was born and raised a, you know I'm saying, a Buddhist or, you know what I'm saying, whatever, atheist, nigga, that's what the fuck I would be. Except for the atheist part, because if I was probably in a house full of atheists, I'm pretty sure I'd go straight to God. See what the fuck they are. But at any rate, um, I'm saying all I should say that. Um, I forgot how Mark thought. I was talking about the five of one. I was like, I Oh, yeah. So. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot my thought. Let me, let me pick that back up. Hold on. Okay, I'm a Christian by the fall. You know what I'm saying? So, even though that's my foundation, it's a lot of shit with church that I, I, just, I, I, I just don't fuck with. I don't approve of. I don't approve of. And talking with the rapture with my mom, one thing Christians do a lot is condemn everybody else who ain't a fucking Christian in a hell that don't even exist. Hell don't exist. I will fucking argue all day. We are one to debate. Bring it. Please bring it. But please keep an open mind on the Trinidad's teachings. That's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Christ consciousness. That's how I'm coming in the debate. That's 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 what I'm standing on coming in the debate. So just know that if you do want to come correct. But yeah. It's like, Mom, you believe in a system of organized religion. And basically, it's going to condemn everybody that ain't Christian. So everybody who ain't a Christian basically not getting raptured. Everybody got a chance to come to God. You know, my mom, she's just like me. She's just as passionate as I am spiritually. But she's like deep-rooted in the church. So is my grandmother, deep-rooted in the church. Grandfather, who was a minister, you know, my twin flame. He's deep-rooted in the church. Okay. But the church is the system that they don't see it as. They just see it as just divine law, ultimate law. It is to a certain degree, but that, you know, the Bible talks about how the how slaves are good. That's not good. I don't fuck with that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Condemns people to a hell that don't even exist. The Bible got a lot of flaws in that motherfucker. So I fuck with it, but I don't fuck with everything. Man. But the rapture shit, I'm just like, mom, so what you're saying is you're going to be straight, but the people who ain't like you are not going to be. They, yeah. Um, do you not see? <laughs> I mean, personally, I don't think nobody's I think everybody gonna get it. I don't think a certain group of people gonna be saved and a certain people gonna be left out here. I think we all gonna be left out here, nigga. We all gonna go through the tribulation period because really the tribulation period is really gonna dictate who you really are, right? It's gonna take it to the end of the world to see how people really is, right? Who can handle it, who can't, who the true saints is, who the fake ones are. In my personal opinion, tribulation is what's gonna dictate who the fuck is a fucking saint or not. Who the fuck really fuck with God or not? Who the fuck is really Christ conscious or not? Who's a good person and who's not? You think we've been tested this whole time? No, we've been oppressed this whole time. We've been under the delusion of this matrix the whole time. But as far as like tribulation, as far as like it ain't cutting the heads off Christians like they was doing back in the dark ages, nigga. Like they were doing not too long ago. We ain't there. You see America, nigga, this shit is a circus. You can do anything you fucking want to do here. You can be whatever you want to be here. The devil done had a church in America since 1966. They got bishops and Bibles and deacons and everything, nigga. Let's keep it real. Christianity is killed millions of people to establish the dominance that it has in this world. Speak on it. Same motherfucker that wrote the Bible wrote the book of demons, my nigga. So, I mean, I hear this rapture shit, but I don't think nobody, because really, unless you're a saint, and like I said, saints are different. These are the type of people that go straight to heaven from earth. Okay, them people, I see that happening. <laughs> but as far as the church, nah. You know, a lot of motherfuckers think they gonna get caught up in the rapture. I don't think you know, and they don't even know. And I don't even talk, you know, I love them on the death. 
And I know not to talk religion with her because it's just going to be a standstill. It's the only thing she don't fuck with me about is open freeway thinking when it comes to being a Christian. But it's just like, nah, nobody... My personal belief, my personal opinion, that's really all it is. My opinion, nah, nobody finna... Miss what's finna happen. We all finna catch this smoke. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all finna really see who really about it, about it. You know, pressure breaks pipes, man, but it also creates diamonds. We gonna see who the chosen was, and we gonna see who really got faith. Like the Bible say a lot, of, like a lot of the church is gonna get deceived. I don't think that's gonna happen if they're raptured in the sky. You understand what I'm saying? Like you know, off that. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, if you a karmic, just say you a karmic. Ain't nothing wrong with you fucking with a karmic master. Just go at it the right way. It's too much karma out here that you don't need. It's karma for you not being on your path and purpose. Like the three of wands that you need to be on, your role of divine feminine, by you not being on that, you're going to catch karma from God and from the world. That's two things coming at you for not being on your shit, for not being on your twin flame shit, for not doing the job that you got for your divine master. Not only is your divine master in your life, you got a job to do with him. He can be, she should be here on your If you ain't doing that, it's karma to that. So, subconsciously, shit you don't see is the whole separation process. Why you're separated in the first place. Why separation happens in the first place. It's for you to make you the best person you can be. So when you get reunited with your twin, which is the four of wands, and it will happen, you just gotta go from the five to the six to the seven to the eight to the nine to the ten to the knight to the queen to the king. Back to the ace of wands, which is awareness. Back to two of wands, which is making ends meet. Survival. You gotta take care of yourself before you can call yourself three of wanding, taking care of other people. You gotta help yourself before you can call yourself helping other people. You gotta love yourself before you can call yourself loving another person. Like your divine masculine. You gotta know who the fuck you are, divine feminine, so you can recognize a fem I mean a divine person like yourself. Or maybe your divine counterpart. That's the three of wands, evolution. You gotta evolve. To what? Reunite with your twin. To recognize your twin. To be in union with your twin. And all union and reunion is just harmony. All recognizing your twin is just harmonizing. Two frequencies meeting joining together and creating a bigger frequency. If I want as many outside conflict, if it ain't separation. But in separation, get your shit together. Because your master is going to come back and when they do, be in a better situation, look better, feel better, have more money, have more joy, have more happiness in your life. Like, glow, get activated, get your power straight, like, learn how to read. Come better. So you ain't going to psychics, like, you're going to yourself type shit. Like, evolve doing separation. Because that's what it's for. Or shit you can do is for your master to separate from you and then come back and see the same you he's seen that he pieced out. He wants to see a new person with you. You don't want to fucking your master to piece you out or you separate and do all this good shit only to come back and see your master in the same position he was in or looking the same or looking worse or going backwards when you going forward, you know. And if your master going forward, him seeing you go backwards is going to be devastating. Because he loves you the same way he you love him. He rocks with you the same way you rock with him. He respect you the same way. You respect him, but he's a masculine and you're a feminine. He just love different. He understands different. He's moving in this shit different. It's just different. As far as the feminine role, feminine, you got the seven of wands, eternal conflict. Things you need to heal. And how do you heal with yourself? Heal yourself. You deal with yourself. How do you deal with yourself alone? It's been prevalent too. I divine feminine, to include myself, because I am a divine feminine. It's just some internal conflict you need to heal. Shit about you, you still need to heal. Shit about yourself, you still need to deal with. It's, you know, gotta deal with yourself. You gotta heal yourself. Ain't to the divine masculine's job to heal you. Ain't to the divine masculine to cure any type of. Love hangover, you got, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Master ain't here to save you. He's here to evolve you. Master ain't here to make your ends meet. He's here to support you, but probably not financially like you think. Maybe you need to support yourself financially, you know what I'm saying? So your Master can come around. Like a person who broke, who come around you. 
Mm-hmm. You're talking that broke shit. It's like, well, shit, I ain't got no money for your ass. Let me fall back because uh, like, you're going to ask me for something. Like, that's the energy you give your master when he comes back and you want to say shit. It's like, ah, oh, well, shit, nigga, let me stay gone. And then you keep the separation for a little bit longer because it seems like you ain't getting it. All right, the masters take themselves, masters take themselves out of your life or take themselves out of your situation, really, subconsciously, because that's how they move subconsciously. Because they don't want to fuck your shit up. I see how she's all into me. I see how I'm like a big part of her life now. I'm seeing how she's not getting other shit done because she seems to be too focused on me. Okay, let me step the fuck back. So I ain't the reason she didn't finish school or she didn't uh, go full for her business or she didn't go full for this relationship or whatever the fuck. Like, your master steps the fuck back to help you. They probably hurting you, but they don't mean to hurt you because, like I say, they're doing shit subconsciously. You throw a right hand in the mirror, it's a left hand waving at you, but it's, it's different. It's different. And a real feminine understands these differences. Like I say, like you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna move on. How you communicate with your divine masculine is like communicating with him through a mirror. The mirror is inverted. You write a message on the motherfucking mirror, it's like you wave, you see him waving back. And it's like, hey, I got something to say. He can't hear you. What? What? What are you saying? You write a message on the motherfucking mirror. And then he looks at the messages. I don't, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck this is. Once again, if you're a real life feminine, then okay, okay, that didn't work, so okay, what the fuck? Okay, maybe the mirror is inverted. You erase the message and shit, you write it backwards. And he sees the message, oh shit, you know. And he writes a message on a fucking thing, but it's inverted. And it's like, fuck, you can't, y'all, y'all can't talk, you can't really talk to him. It's like, you can't explain to him that he has to write it backwards the way you did or figure out a way to do that. Nah. So what the fuck you got to do is work with that. You got a whole message right here on the motherfucking mirror. Okay. Find another mirror. How do you read inverted messages anyway? A mirror. I told you mirrors are fucking portals. Nigga. Put the mirror behind you and read it and you're going to see exactly what the message is. It's got to take a mirror for you to read it, but you can read it. You know what I'm saying? It's how you move, Queen of Wands. You're the queen of moving. But your divine master is the king of moving too, doing shit. King of doing shit, queen of doing shit. But how does a queen move in the chessboard? How does a king move in the chessboard? Queen gets took in game, still goes on. King gets took in checkmate, game over. Don't go off the board. Man. You got a job to do with your master. That's to make sure you win this game that is the twin flame situation. To make sure your master don't get taken out. How does your master don't get taken out? It's like you're the master and choose to fuck with a karmic that's fucking his life up or ain't for him. You've been giving him warning signs and all that shit, and it's like he marries this person. How do you stay in the game? Well, you know, I don't support this person you fuck with. They're fucked up in many ways. I tried to tell you, but it seems like you got to find out the hard way. So it's all good. You seem like you're happy and it's the person you want to be with. Send blessings from here to there. You know, I love you regardless. I'm going to fuck with you regardless. My admiration, respect, and loyalty, loyalty for you is it's never going to fucking change. Just because you're with another fucking person. I can be mature enough to accept you. And if this what makes you happy, it makes me happy. It makes me happy to see you happy. I'm glad you're in this direction, even though I know this shit's gonna fuck you up, but it's all love. That the nigga, hug, whatever the fuck. Peace out. Good luck with you and your new whatever you and your life. And it's like, that's the energy you gotta have. Cause who the fuck you think your master gonna call when this shit fucking up? When they need somebody to talk to, when they need somebody that ain't gonna judge them. Or ain't gonna throw their past back in their face. You're doing the complete opposite of what the fuck their karma's doing. That's what you're there for. You call you out the blue. Uh, you call me for you married. You're supposed to be living a high life and shit. Eh, you just open it up. Sucks you can't get this from him and y'all together. It's like you'd rather go with him going through this shit with you together than like him going through it with another person for you to be there for him and shit like that but like everything else for a reason and it's vice versa it could be you getting married and all that shit and shit just work out because you knew there was a karma and karma just start happening and it's like you calling your life as and like man because that's all you can do you can't really do too much but communicate i mean 
the decision and the choice you made. He's moving the right way, giving you your space. It's like it's vice versa. You feel me? It's all kind of like just some shit you need to heal with yourself. And as soon as you can do that, you can move on to the next phase. And what you don't see when it comes to healing yourself, we got the three of cups. This is distractions, the third part. Or the evolution of the two of cups, which is the connected. Distractions are third party. This is just outside people who, who should in no way affect your feelings. People shouldn't, like I say, sticks and stones break your bones. Words should never hurt you. The fuck a motherfucker gotta say should never offend you, should never should never get hurt. From what the outsider gotta say, they're outsiders, they're not inside, they're karmics, they're not divine. The difference when a divine person can give you the food flux to hold you accountability, to let you know you fucking up. They respect you, but you they you lose a respect for your ass because of the way you're moving. What's the difference with a motherfucker who you don't even fuck with, who has no influence whatsoever over you, who's a nobody trying to tell you who you are or whatever the fuck. It's like, you'll be distracted doing that. Let nothing consume you. Letting a nobody influence you. Like letting some outside situation get inside your union, your path, your purpose, the shit you got to do. Three of Cups is also evolution. It's Two of Cups, which is a connection. You love a person. You respect a person. All that. But it, they got something else going on. It's usually how a too funny situation is. You love your divine master, but like I say, they're probably in love with someone else. They're probably dealing with somebody else. So you respect, you love them, and the person that they're in love with. You ain't got to fuck with this person. But that's who the person you're asking fucking with. So respect them and theirs. You will want him to respect you and yours. That's what you're asking feeling. This is his emotions. This is where he's emotionally at right now with this person. That's who's occupying his time, energy, and resources and emotions right now. And like I say, that's what he got going on. Send the love. Yeah, I hope, you know, every time I send love to people, hey, I'm just sending love to you and yours. I'm just checking in. hope everything is good with you and yours. You and my twin. I hope everything is good with you and yours, buddy. I ain't got to love your friend. I ain't got to respect your friend. I ain't got to do shit for your friend. Only thing I can do as your friend is just to at least respect you and whatever you do. Whatever you choose to go. Whatever direction you choose to go in. Whatever you feeling. I support whatever you support. I fuck with whatever you fucking with. Because I want you to do the same. the masculine world feminine you got the knight of swords this is fear being mentally discombobulated making decisions without crossing t's and dotting your eye but mainly just being mentally discombobulated with the ten of swords that happened before this car before you get to the knight of swords you got the ten of swords that's death or a permanent ending shit that's never going to be the same again something that's bye-bye a permanent ending when it comes to particular masculine you fear a permanent ending. Got to put more smoke on this. Four of Cups. This is karma. Four of Cups is the world. But the world can really represent just the karma that goes in the world. I told you, you got karma, divine karma, and you got worldly karma. Like I said, at the end of the day, you a divine feminine married to a karmic mass and a divine feminine fucking with a karmic mass. And once again, it's not bringing your divinity down. But if that's how you feel, that's how it's going to be. Like I said, you can't renege. You choose to go forward with a person. You choose to marry this guy. You choose whatever, okay? You did what you had to do. You did what you wanted to do. That's your decision. Live with it. You didn't have to agree in the first place. You didn't have to get married. You could have just stayed dead. You didn't have to bring God in this union. You could have just kept God out. If you ever fuck with a karmic, good karmic, we only talk about good ones. If you ever fuck with a good karmic, that's helping you. That supports you. That's just there for you in, in the way that you was looking for. They're giving you the support that you was looking for. It's all fucking good. Only thing that ain't good is just really your true feelings for them. Okay, if that's the case, let them know. You know, I fuck with you, but I don't really fuck with you like that. And I appreciate everything you do. And I don't want to be fucked up just taking and not really giving back to you. So you know, I want to get to really know you. That's, I mean, I need to really I guess, get to know you again. Least accept you because you're a big part of my life. 
Like, well, true. That shit ain't possible. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. So I just want to let you know that, you know, I wasn't fucking with you like that, but you starting to grow on me, or I'm trying to learn to grow on you. You're all about me. I'm trying to learn to be all about you. For everything I'm doing, I need to at least show my appreciation for that. You know what I'm saying? But keep it straight. Keep it direct. Like, whatever it is, keep it 100. Because if they really fuck with you, they still going to support you. A karmic is what I'm talking about. Like I say, you, you love them. And I fuck with you. I appreciate that you do. But, you know, I got to go in my ass when, You know what I'm saying? I've just got this too funny thing going on. And, but what's a twin flame? It's like you tell them and all that. And like I say, he's just like, cool. That's tight. But you know, I like you, though. You know, I'll do anything for you. And, you know, whatever you need me to do, I'm here for. Like, that should just open up a little bit. Make you open up a little bit. Just appreciate Like I say, the ones you motherfucker want don't want your motherfucking ass. And the ones, it's like, the ones you want don't want you. The ones you don't want, want you like a motherfucker. And it's like the ones that got away are the ones you always keep an eye out for. But that in itself is the three of cups. Distraction. So it's like you're scared of falling in love with your karmic. You're scared of opening up to your karmic because either you still want your divine masculine or you don't want to... It's like you don't want to leave your masculine hanging. But is he questioning leaving you hanging when he leaves you hanging? It ain't tip for tat. You doing this shit because your masculine did it to you. It's the reason why your masculine probably did the same shit that you got going on right now. It's for you to grow and learn from. You say you ain't hurt yourself. You might hurt other people. Maybe your masculine or some shit. Even like with him. He don't have to hurt himself. That's why when he separates himself from you or pieces you out or does what he has to do with you, it ain't no love loss. You know what I mean? He's doing what he got to do in praise and hopes you can at least have the maturity to see that or respect that. He wants to stay the fuck out your way so you can focus on what the fuck you need to do. He prays and hopes you see that shit. It's not because he doesn't want you. It's not because he doesn't want to be with you or want to have a life like you. Know what I mean, that, 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 he wants that. But like I say, you got reality. You got the 80% cake that is your life and the 80% cake that is his life. What you two got together is just the icing on the cake, 20%. So kind of see what you don't see is the truth. So I'm gonna This is truth, this is results. This is darkness coming to the light, cats coming out of bags, but I just see really results. And that's really what it's all about. It's about results at the end of the day, divine feminine. You wanted something, you got what you wanted. So the results are good. You got to this karmic demo because you knew that, you know, you knew what it was. And it's like, truth is, this shit working, this shit clicking, this shit is not only helping you, but evolving you in the same way your twin flame shit is doing the same shit. So it's like I said, for the twins who moving on and, you know, got their little karma demos and just kind of whatever about the divine masculine now, I mean, don't trip. It's just a break, it's just temporary. Once you get your shit established, once you take care of your kingdom, then your masculine can always be a friend. Can always be, you know, they can still be an integral part of your life, but they're not going to be the king. Because you got one. Feel me? Now, twins win in that situation. You feel like just karma in general. Like I say, seven swords. All darkness comes to the light. Shit you've been telling your divine mass and he ain't been getting it. This is in the masculine column. Mass is going to get it. And he might not got it when he told you the first time. He might not got it when he mentioned it the first time. It might take a little later, but he's going to get it. It might take a karmic situation that he needs to get in for him to figure out what it is, what it ain't, and what it's going to be with him. It might take you to be in a karmic situation, feminine, to really know what the fuck you really want from your divine mass. Secrets. Everything comes to the light. Everything you need to, that needs to be revealed will be revealed to kind of help you with your next direction, your next decision move. You know? Future final world wrapping this up. Going to the future, feminine, directly. You got the five of swords. Masculine had this in his energy. 
I think in the last message that I just did, feminine, you got it now. Five of Swords is focus. It's focusing on shit that matters and shit that don't matter. What matters? You take care of your star player. You're doing everything you need to do for you to be comfortable, for you to be secure, for you to be safe, for you to be in a good environment to flourish. That's what matters. That's what you need to focus on. If this karmic masculine is providing all that, then you need to keep shit in house. You need to focus more on your karmic mask. Because thank you making room for more around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? The object is for you to evolve. Like I say, be 100 with your karmic mask. That's the shit you need to focus on. If you don't see this shit being like forever, then like I say, let your comic masculine know. So number one, he ain't wasting his time, energy, and resources. And two, so the seven of swords. Cat is out the excuse me, seven of swords. Cat is out the fucking back. What's the point of you not feeling a person and not telling them that shit? You wanna wait till later or you wanna you know what I mean? That's manipulation, that's control, that's that's dark. It's like shit is good, and it's like, you know what? I didn't really see myself fucking with you like this. Like, you know, you really grew on me. You know? I think this is kind of going to be permanent, but I see it becoming that. And I'm all for that. I see you all about me. Like I say, one thing karmics will do is shit your masculine won't. Or one thing a karmic will provide is shit that your masculine don't. And it's just kind of, like I say, going to make you look at the other side of the coin. It's too funny. Shit is cool in the game. But you got to get to reality of the situation. Divine feminine. You got wants and needs. Makes no sense for you not to have them shits met in hopes of popping some shit off with your mask. Like, fuck hope. There's no hope here. There's no waiting here. You just be on your shit. And when your mask is ready to come through, he'll come through. Whether you're ready to fuck with him or her or not is up to you. Don't stop what you're doing. Waiting on somebody else to get their shit together. Don't put your life on pause, waiting on a continuation game from your divine masculine. No, you live your life. He's doing that. He's doing that. You need to do it too. He's setting boundaries. You need to do that shit too. He know what he want. You need to know that too. Final card in this message, the Seven of Cups, Pimp Cup Chronicles. It's something in you you need to give to the world. World Cups. That's the world. Something in your heart, you need to get to the world. It has a lot to do with a connection to a cup. Like I say, most of these karmics, these good karmics, feminine, you need to give them your love. You're a divine feminine, which means you're giving divine love to this karma. This shit he's been waiting on his whole life. You're actually a good woman. This nigga been meeting fucked up flakes and karmics his whole fucking career. He's finally got a good one. <laughs> shit, nigga, let him have that. Like, let him have that. Give them, give them all the love. Don't restrict love. I don't want to keep all this for my divine masculine and when the time comes. Man, fuck all that shit. There's people that need your love. All of it. There's people that need your attention. All of it. There's people that need you. All of you. Who ain't your twin. Give them that shit. Because it's only going to give you something. What you need or what you want. It's the message that I got. If you need me, holla at me. You know the script. Um, go eat something. One.